So generally, there are two ways to learn a thing. First, do the mistakes, waste your time and learn from them. And the second one is learn from other people's mistake. Hey everyone, my name is Sagar and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Sagar and we are back again with another video of guidance playlist. Yes, we just created a whole new playlist for guidance. There you can find coding guidance for everything at one place. So press the bell icon if you haven't yet, so you won't miss any updates. Crazy things are on their way. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about the top coding mistakes I made as a beginner. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So talking about the first mistake that I did and you might be also doing is not starting early. People are like, it is my freshman year, I have 4 years to study all this stuff, I have to enjoy my college life and all. Listen, if you want to enjoy your college life, go do some another degree. Engineering is not for you. So why are you wasting your parents money? And if you are not an engineering student and want to enter in tech world, you have to do hard work. Simple as that. Another reason for your delay might be. Another reason for your delay might be any barrier. Like if you don't have any laptop. See, your interview is not going to give you any job by listening to your sad story that you haven't had any laptop, you got it in second year and all this stuff. The only thing that is going to matter is how much hard work have you done in your college life and how much knowledge you have gained. And the best solution that I will suggest you is you have a phone, use it as your PC. As simple as that. YouTube have everything. You just need to type how to use your phone as laptop and you will literally have thousands of different ways to do the same and when you will have a laptop start implementing those things at a higher level so why are you delaying your journey start today if you haven't yet okay okay so let me now talk about the second mistake that mostly beginner did is not having a fixed path some people are like how a beginner can have a fixed path they have to choose their domain they have to try everything and choose the one that fits for them no it is not about choosing the domain one must explore different fields and choose the one with their interest and all so what is having a fixed path means let me give you an example suppose one beginner follows some xyz youtube channel and learning some content from it after some time some famous youtube channel started some different course which seems to be more important for him or you can say some more in demand content so here what a beginner feels like he should move to that new content without completing the previous one but that is the worst thing he is doing with his journey the time he invested in learning those stuffs is totally going to be useless why because when he is changing the main source of his learnings he is eventually going to forget everything he learned so the conclusion is when you decide to learn something, you should never leave it in between. You can learn different things at a time if you want, but at least you do learn something from it, not just drop them in between. I haven't made that mistakes, but I see so many people starting something and not completing it. That is the worst thing they are doing with their journeys. Stop it. Get some help. So take it as a precaution before starting your learning. So now talking about the another mistake I made and I think almost everyone will face when they are starting their journey that is demotivation or we can just say not having enough self-confidence people just underestimate themselves and truly saying i did that too when i started practicing dsc on hacker rank i was not even able to move my hands my brain was like totally gone i don't know anything i am the newbiest coder in the world and that demotivation leads me to a long break for which i will always regret I am telling you all this so that your failures and your demotivation will not distract you from your learnings. So what is the solution for it? The one thing that I will suggest to you is to copy paste another people's code. Right, this is for real. That's totally fine if you copy other people's code. But you should understand it from scratch. The implementation, the logic and all. You can hang over in discussion sections or you can just see solution tutorials on YouTube. But you should never get yourself demotivated. If you want to achieve something, have confidence, start working on it and you will eventually get it if you are consistent and our next point is the same that is consistency you might have heard consistency is the key that's totally right if you are demotivated inconsistent for your work 
leaving everything in between you are totally wasting your time what is the point to even invest your time in something that you are totally going to forget so if you want to be good in anything you should be consistent that is a must and when i realized that mistake i just started working on it and now having streaks of more than 100 days on lead code and also on so many different platforms so when people are making streaks on snapchat i was maintaining my streak on these platforms now you should decide whether you want to make a streak on snapchat or you want to make streaks on these platforms so what are you waiting for so now talking about the another mistake that I did and you should not, which is not creating project. What kind of projects? Well, projects are just practical implementation of what you already learned. Like uh, when I started Android application development, I know almost everything about Java, but that is a mistake I did. When I got comfortable in creating project, I realized how easy it could be if I started with just a basic knowledge of Java. And creating projects are much much more beneficial than any other thing. They are going to shine in your resume and if you are creating projects, it is also going to upscale your knowledge. So when you got a basic knowledge of your particular language, you should go for project development. Nice. Now the another big mistake that I made and for which I am still regretting is to underestimate the power of learning in public. Believe me, you never know how many opportunities you are missing if you are not sharing your work in public. I started it too late, but I can still feel the power of sharing your skills, your knowledge or even your learning journey. I just got reached out by so many amazing people, got so many amazing opportunities by just learning in public. But what does that actually mean? That means you have to share anything, literally anything, any skill that you learned. Let the public know that you are working on something. That is not a show off. That is just publicing your learnings. As simple as that. So now just go and create your profiles on LinkedIn or Twitter and start posting. Okay. So hope you will learn from these mistakes and have a great learning experience. Now let me share some amazing tips with you which will just give a boost to your learning. So the first one is to read documentation. That is a kind of underrated thing for a beginner. But I am pretty sure that once you start to learn your concepts directly from documentation, you will never need to see any tutorials or other kind of stuffs. And it will also keep you up to date with any latest change in the technology you are opting. So now talking about the another tip that you should be trying is looking at other people's code. By doing so, you will get to know how other people think and how they are having their solution approaches. Do this even if your code is accepted or you think your code is the best. Because in this way, you will know different approaches for a single problem. And the same will work for any kind of development you are doing. So the next important tip is to know how to debug your code. No doubt it is a very important skill everyone must have. You should know where and why your code is breaking or throwing an exception or showing an error. Some will say compilers will do that for you. Yes, mostly all errors or exceptions can be raised by compilers. But what if you don't have any compilation error? Or for an example, suppose you use the bitwise operator in place of any logical operator in C++. Then the whole concept of your code will entirely change. And the worst thing is <laughs> And the worst thing is your compiler is not going to give you any error. And if you have multiple lines of code, then how will you know where your code is breaking? This is my laptop. <laughs> And if you have multiple lines of code, then how will you know where your code is breaking? So that is why debugging is an important skill that everyone should have. Another tip that I am going to share with you all is not to waste time stuck in one problem. Suppose if you are stuck in any kind of problem, whether it is a question problem or any conceptual, you should not remain stuck in it. What I am trying to say is if you are not able to solve any problem or an issue, you should go for the solution or you can reach out some senior or you can just stack overflow it. Don't waste your days just for a single problem. Think of how many different things you can do in that period of time. So now talking about some more tips that will definitely increase your learning efficiency. And the first one is to sit on a chair. That is a sort of underrated thing these days for everyone. People are like pick their laptop, go to their bed, get a blanket and start working or whatever stuff they do. But according to me, that is not a fair thing to do bed is for sleep and you are using it for your most important works. Does that make any sense? So try to sit on a chair if possible but at least don't lay on your beds. So that is it for today everyone. If this video is worth watching go hit that like button. If you want more such content then do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share your views in comment section and I will see you in the next one.